So today we have a chemistry question of the day and it's asking hydrogen and nitrogen gas are on one side of a container separating an open space by a divider. A small hole is poked so that gas can leak through. What is the hydrogen to nitrogen ratio on the right side? So this side right here. So the first thing that we want to look at um, in order to solve this question is we want to piece together what exactly are we using, what concepts are we using to solve this question. Um, so pretty much what this is saying is that over time, um, once it reaches equilibrium, what will be the ratio of H2 to N2 um, at one particular time? And the reason why is because we poked this little hole, a certain amount of gas will be able to travel through there uh, based on which one will travel faster. And the one thing to always note is that whenever they mention a small hole, that's going to be referring to effusion. Okay? So something that's moving faster will obviously have more in this area. And so we'll look at effusion. So it's Graham's law of effusion, and what it says is that velocity of A over velocity of B equals the square root of MB over MA. Um, and so, just to um, be clear, velocity um, equals, we say, the um, distance per second. But in this case, we can also think of this as amount. So the, the distance can be the amount per second. Um, and so that's why we can see that velocity and amount are directly proportional. So if we can say that something is moving very fast, it will also be high in amount. Okay? So that's why we can use Graham's Law of Effusion. Um, but if you don't remember how to, if you can't memorize this, um, there's a way so that you don't have to. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we get the kinetic energies of both, right? Um, we say that the kinetic energies are equivalent to each other, right? And then we move them both onto one side. And that's how we get this equation right there, all right? Um, so now that we know how to derive this equation, let's figure out what we can do with it. So we know VA over VB equals the square root of MB over MA. And just to, I didn't say this before, but M is the molecular weight. Um, so if we want to look at the, uh, the question again, um, it's the ratio between hydrogen and nitrogen. Um, so let's say MB will be nitrogen. So the molecular weight of nitrogen is uh, 28 because um, one nitrogen has a 14 AMUs and also for hydrogen it will be 2. And we said A was hydrogen over B which was nitrogen. All right? So that would be square root of 14. All right? um, and so that would be the ratio of the amount of hydrogen to nitrogen on the other side. Okay? Um, and if we look back at our answers, uh, we have this right here. B would be the correct answer, the square root of 14. Um, and one thing to look about, whenever they ask you proportion questions, they will always give you very, very close numbers. Always the reciprocal, and always if there's a square root, they'll give you the other one. So always be very, very careful on these types of questions. Hey guys, remember to post any questions you would like us to answer in the next question of the day down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.